Welcome back my lovely friends, welcome back to Mixology Hacks and as I promised with the last video when we did the champagne syrup if you missed it obviously go back and watch it because it's very good for your cocktails today we're gonna turn this lovely stout to a stout syrup and since I need only 300 grams or 300 mils I decide to have the rest of it for me so cheers mm. I love stout, but why don't we turn it to a syrup? Because first of all it's fantastic for plenty of cocktails you can use it. Just to mention one, you can do a wonderful espresso martini with a stout syrup to give a little bit more complex body to the cocktail. You can use it, let's say you do a Manhattan, you can drop a little bit, you can uh, put in old fashioned even if you want instead of the simple syrup. So there's many options to use the stout syrup but since this is mixology hacks and things should be simple but not extremely simple let's put it this way we're gonna do a little twist on the uh, stout syrup today so if you're ready sit down relax pour yourself a stout and let's see how to make the perfect wintry stout syrup Okay, my lovely friends, so stout syrup, a fairly simple way to do it. It's basically as a simple syrup, but instead of using water, you're going to use stout. Now, depends on the stout you're using, you can get a different uh, flavors because there's many stouts out there in the world. Some of them have a more chocolatey flavor. Some of them it's already flavored with uh, different uh, spices. Some of them have different palettes and different final tests. Now, if you go crazy, you can get a stout which tastes like a tiramisu or something else. And yes, when I'm saying tiramisu, I actually recently have stout, tiramisu stout, and it was fantastic. So, depends of what you want to use your syrup for, you can start first by choosing the perfect stout, okay? Now, today, we're going to keep it simple because it's coming Christmas, don't want to overcomplicate stuff. We're just going to use a good Guinness, yeah? As you can see, the, the can is empty, but just obviously showing you what we're using today, a Guinness. And if you're wondering why I'm watching there, this way I have a kind of a nice monitor to see if I'm in focus. I'm still figuring out how to put it in front of me. Anyway, different story. So, for this syrup today, what you're going to need? First, a little sip of the stout. Mm. Wonderful. So I decide to go with a 300 mil or 300 grams if you want to put it, but 300 mil of stout and I'm using Guinness. As I mentioned, it's basically one part of the stout, one part sugar and you have just a basic stout syrup. But today we're going to make a little bit different. You're going to need a two star anise like this, two of them, don't need to crush them, don't need to do anything they'll be infusing our stout syrup and you're gonna need two types of sugar since it's kind of a Christmassy vibe and we want to make a little bit more enjoyable let's put it this way of course we're gonna use demerara sugar because demerara sugar works better with the stout syrup than custard or a white sugar and to spice up a little bit of thing and kind of a bring a little nostalgic feeling to the summer we're gonna use organic coconut sugar. Yes, you hear me right. So basically we're doing wintery stout coconut syrup. And this can go fantastically well in the espresso martini, in a totally different expression of the old fashioned or any other cocktail which you wanna to put to it, okay? As you know, I'll be using some of this stout syrup on just shake or stir, so if you, didn't subscribe yet to Just Shake or Steer, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the episode when I'm going to give you a few ideas how to use this stout syrup because I mentioned it before I'm pretty sure but I'll be doing a video on a few wonderful cocktails using different beers and of course one of them is going to be using the stout syrup okay so before I start uh, with actual stout syrup first of all I'm going to put my scale here and I need an empty pot because I want to measure the sugar. 
So as I mentioned, I'm gonna be using 300 ml of the stout. So I'll be doing 200 grams of Demerara sugar and 100 grams of the organic coconut sugar. Okay, so let's start with this first. I need roughly 200 grams for a grams plus or minus few. It doesn't really matter, but exactly 200 grams. And of course, organic uh, coconut sugar. Now it's dark as well, just want to show you. That's how it's look. Obviously I've put it in the jar because I want to preserve it for a long time. This is the open pack, which I'll be using today. There's more than 100 grams in it, but hey, most of it is going to go in. This is going to be a lovely rich syrup, even it's not like a two part of sugar to one part of the stout. There's plenty of sugar to make it really rich. And because you have this uh, coconut organic sugar, this is going to bring a fantastic flavor to the syrup. There we go. That's perfect. We don't need the scale anymore. And I need my lovely pot and I'm going to put my favorite lout stove. Yeah, I mean, I know some of you say it's not that loud, it's fantastic, but uh, I'm still working to put a kind of an integrator in the bar so the noise is going underneath. However, we'll figure it out how this is going to happen. Right, sugar in. And let's pour our stuff. Beautiful. And here I want to mention, um, I'm probably going to be get a higher pitch now because this is loud. I want to mention, make sure you open your beer in advance so it's kind of a get a little bit flat. You don't want to be very fizzy, uh, you want to be a flat possible so it's going to be easy for you when you're just mixing because if you get to a certain temperature it's going to start the foam pretty much trying to escape from your uh, pot, okay? So nothing wrong to leave it for a an hour or two just to get a little bit flatter than freshly open, okay? There we are. Now, do not boil the stout. Again, as we did in the champagne syrup, do not go to the boiling point. Soon the water is warm up and it starts going to the boiling. You can remove it, stir a little bit, help to dissolve the sugar and leave it to cool down to be ready for bottling, okay? Now this is warming up nicely here. And while this is happening, I'm gonna throw inside the two star anise and they're gonna release enough flavor while the syrup is cooling down just to have this kind of a touch of winter feeling. You don't wanna overpower with a, with a star anise you want to have the stout flavor, but just a, like a slight touch on the back end coming from the star anise. And of course, feel free to experiment. Now, if you want to put some allspice or some cinnamon or a cloves, depends what you like, feel free to experiment because that's the beauty of making this syrup. You can basically experiment and you can deliver a totally different syrup every time using a different stout, with a different uh, spices. So you can basically make different batches and use for a different cocktails. Simple as that. I'm only giving you the basics and I'm leaving the creativity to you because I think I have a good day, like a fun, making different impressions of uh, the stout syrup and then decide which one is the best for you. Right, I'll see you in a second when this is ready to be bottled. Okay, we are back. It, it was really quick. As I mentioned, this syrup is very quick to do it because you don't need to boil, you don't need to stay around much. All you need to make sure it's obviously you stay next to the syrup because one second to miss and the beer is gonna go over and you don't want this mess in your kitchen, whatever you're doing. it. As you can see from the top camera, it's a wonderful, like a looking like a basically a make a big pot of coffee. But yeah, this is the stout. Obviously, we have some of the foam, and uh, I will leave it on the side to cool down. 
and then I'll be bottling in about probably half an hour. But before we bottle, let's give it a little kind of a smell. Oh. It's just fantastic. I mean, I love stout syrup, but with this addition to a coconut uh, sugar inside, it's absolutely unbelievable. It doesn't overpower. You just have this slightly coconut kind of a nuance on the nose. And of course, I'm gonna wait a little bit, like I say, half an hour at least, just so the star anise kick on and release some of the flavor inside. If you like it more on the star anise side or on your spices, whatever you're using, leave it to infuse for longer, okay? Or even you can put in your jar or a bottle, whatever you're using, you can put a little piece of the star anise just to stay there and keep infusing. However, I want it just a little bit. So soon this foam on the top is gone, in about half an hour, I'll be back and we're gonna be bottling. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, my friend, so this is it, we're ready. Uh, it's been a half an hour, it's cooled down a little bit, still quite warm, but if you watch my video on the champagne syrup, uh, I mentioned and I kind of recommend to buy bottles, which it's heat resistance, let's put it this way. A thick glass, which it's kind of a can handle heat, so you don't need to worry about it much. And uh, now we're just gonna bottle. So what you need to do, first of all, put a little bit in your bottle if you worry about the heat, just a little bit, and uh, give it a little swirl. So basically this is gonna warm up the glass, it's gonna release the kind of a shock of the glass, and uh, you'll be more safe to pour the rest. I made, I made 300 milliliter, uh, which obviously it's not gonna fit in these bottles, but uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using a small bottle just to put most of it. And the rest of it, obviously, I'll be putting in a very kind of a tiny container because it's left around 100 mil here on the side, which is absolutely fine. Let me just get uh, a little clean up because making a syrup, it's a quite messy thing sometimes. It could become a really messy thing. Okay. Uh, I know it's a little bit warm, but hey, I'm going to do it. Just a little bit in the shot. Oh, wonderful. Ooh. So you have this beautiful like a stout on the nose coming with a hint of coconut and just a very slight, very all, all, the, all the way on the back, the star anise, okay? Oh, this is just, you know, this one on top of ice cream, you'll be the star of the party if you do that. An ice cream with a stout coconut and star anise syrup on the top, glazing. Oh. But hey, we're talking about cocktails here. However, feel free to use it, maybe on the nice sticky toffee pudding or chocolate brownie. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's, it's all up to you how wild you're gonna go with this syrup. But my lovely friends and friends of uh, Mixology Hacks, this is it for today. A quick and easy winter stout syrup. And don't forget, check Just Shake or Steer if you didn't subscribe yet. Of course, after subscribe for uh, Mixology Hacks, because I'm gonna be using uh, some of the syrups we're making here on the Just Shake or Steer channel, making a cocktails. And of course, don't be afraid to leave a comment or maybe request a video if you're something interested or you want to learn something specific. I'm open to suggestions because this channel is all about you learning a little tricks and tips behind the bar which you can implement in your house or in the bar you're working and start uh, making some wonderful cocktails. For now, stay safe. I'll see you in a two weeks time which in my math, making a what? Just before Christmas, isn't it? Hmm. Gotta think about something Christmassy. Leave it with me. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching Mixology Hacks. Uh, and yeah, I'm out. I'm gonna have ice cream and some stout syrup on it. Yeah, bye.